uh, that you guys are opening a store in New York. Yeah. You were actually supposed to be in New York. Yeah. Um, I'm happy you're here. Can you tell me more about the store in New York? Um, the store in New York, uh, for we had this idea for more than two years now. It's like um, after the, we opened up the Amsterdam store, we immediately knew like, okay, the physical experience that we have created in Amsterdam is can function as the blueprint for the rest of the world. So why not try overseas? So um, we initially we wanted to open up in London, mm -hmm. but London is compared to New York way more expensive. Yeah. So uh, we felt like okay, looking at also looking at the current tendency in in, uh, in America, um, if you look at. Um, uh, the people of color out there, they're really looking into like, okay, where do I come from as a human mm -hmm. being? Uh, with the whole Ancestry.com. Yeah. And that really ties into the Daily Paper story. Yeah. Uh, so we felt like, okay, this is the right time to uh, initiate something in the US. Mm -hmm. And our story is um, um, best uh, interpreted if we are there physically yeah and um, yeah the store is gonna be in the Lower East Side of uh, Manhattan mm -hmm. the Lower East Side is a uh, is you can kind of compare it to um, uh, Amsterdam East uh, or Old West okay um, yeah it's like a it's like a community driven area mm -hmm. so a lot of lots of sports activities are there uh, the youth culture is very present there, um, and it's it's not a bougie location. And who makes those decisions when you guys say, "Okay, we want to take the next step to go to New York"? Is are the three of you guys brainstorming together and like, "Okay, let's go to New York"? Do you have an extended team? No, it's always the three of us. Mm -hmm. So just to give you an example, uh, Hussein, uh, he's like the dreamer. Uh, and uh, Abdurrahman is also the dreamer, and I'm in between. Okay. Um, the realistic one and the most grounded one. Mm -hmm. So uh, we always come to a mutual understanding when it comes to certain decisions that are, that are, that are being made. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Hussein always wanted to live in New York mm. uh, based off his love for hip hop. Um, he always wanted to uh, initiate something in New York, do something in New York. Um, so after we did a pop-up store in London, we felt yeah. like, okay, let's start uh, looking for space in London. But that was too expensive for us. Yeah. And then we felt like, okay, which other um, city resembles uh, Amsterdam the most? And that's New York. New York, yeah. Dope. Uh, as maybe you all know, like Amsterdam, uh, New York used to be called New Amsterdam. Yeah, true. Um, obviously, it's way bigger than Amsterdam now, mm -hmm. but in terms of diversity and the way the city is condensed, it really resembles Amsterdam. Yeah. Uh, and um, um, yeah, so we decided, like, okay, um, we're gonna uh, split up, divide and conquer. Mm -hmm. So Hussein uh, went to uh, live in New York for nine months, um, and um, he more or less uh, did the field research because before uh, he was living there we already had a huge community out there mm -hmm. of international friends that we got to know along the way um, from yeah from uh, creatives to athletes to all types of people that work within the creative industry and when he was there he did the field research so through the boroughs of New York he stayed a few uh, months in Brooklyn, he stayed in uh, Harlem, mm -hmm. he stayed in, in, in Soho, he stayed in all different places. And when he stayed in Lower East Side, he felt like, yo guys, this is it. This is it.